Hey everybody! Over the past several years, you may have seen this photo of me dressed as a bear hanging on my wall. This bear is Glimmy Bear. And while Glimmy Bear looks totally adorable, his story is actually quite dark. When Glimmy Bear was just a little cub, he was abandoned by his bear family and then was found by a boy named Pity. Pity kept Gloomy Bear as a pet and they were BFS and cute and cuddly until Gloomy started to grow up and then as he grew up his wild bear instincts take over and he attacks Pity a lot all the time because he's a bear and bears are not good pets. So <laughs> should you stumble upon the cute little Gloomy in your lifetime do not keep him as a pet or your lifetime may be very short. Today's look is for all of you Gloomy Bear fans out there and is the perfect combo of a comfy Kigurumi and simple makeup for your chill, low-key day at a convention. Here I am on said day in 2013. Aww, little baby Alexa, <laughs> so cute! So why didn't I have glittery blood tears dripping from my eyes? Well, this tutorial didn't exist in 2013. <laughs> So now I present to you the convention makeup to go with one of my all-time favorite Kigus to wear, Gloomy Bear. I'm going to start off this look with a primer. We're going to do a quick little faves for you. Okay, these three Smashbox primers are my new go-to depending on what my skin is like at the time. Oops! <laughs> um, so my skin fluctuates from normal to very dry. If my skin is super dry and miserable, I have been loving this primer oil. And if it's on the drier side but isn't like totally desert status, I go with the hydrating primer. And finally, if my skin is feeling good moisture-wise but could still use some improving, I go with the pore minimizing photo finish primer, which is what I'm using today. After my primer, I move to foundation. And here's another new fave for ya. L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation is my jam. <laughs> this stuff was recommended to me by Raw Beauty Christie. Follow her if you don't already. She's amazing. You love her. And um, this foundation has changed the game for me. The dewy finish has been perfect with my dryish skin and has made me feel so good and happy and confident about my skin. So if you're looking to try a different foundation, I recommend this one. I love it. Okay, new makeup faves are over. So let's zoom right on through the rest of my base makeup so we can get on with it. Concealer, bronzer, and some blushing pink rosy cheeks. The color palette for this whole look is going to be pink, red, and white. I use a red eyeshadow to fill in my eyebrows and then highlight my brow bone with Benefit's Highbrow Pencil, <laughs> which is a pearlish, whitish, pinkish color. Perfect for this look. Then I jump on down to eyeshadow. I am keeping it really simple on the lids since Gloomy Bear's design is a pretty basic 2D, no shading kind of design. So after I finish putting some light pink down, I splash some color in there with NYX's Primal Color in Hot Pink and blend that up into my crease and outer corner. And I'm going to bring this pretty far out around and underneath my eye. Then I use a super pigmented, creamy, shimmery white on the inner corner by dotting it in there with my finger and then tapping to blend it out. All right, eyeliner. We are doing a double liner today, starting with the red color. The red liner I'm using is actually a liquid lipstick. I just use a small brush to apply it and it works out great. But if you are going to be using a lip product on your eyes, you want to make sure that one, it's a kind of lipstick that dries completely matte so that it doesn't transfer all over your lid whenever you blink. And two, I feel like this is obvious, but be careful if you do this. Lip products are made for your lips and are not necessarily safe for your eyeballs. You can see here that I'm leaving a small gap between the lipstick and my lash line just to make sure that nothing crazy happens. I will be filling that gap in with actual eyeliner, which is safe for eyeballs. The eyeliner I am using to fill the gap and create the double liner look is NYX's Matte Liquid Liner. And then I use their jumbo eye pencils in Black Bean and Milk to tight line and fill in my waterline. NYX liners are where it's at. I use them for everything. Add some mascara and the cartooniest lashes you can find. <laughs> These are my fave lashes for characters like this because they are super big and super animated looking. Uh, they are Lashing Out Loud from Rock-A-Lash. Okay, okay, time for the blood tears. I was inspired to draw these under eye blood tears by the blood dripping from Gloomy Bear's mouth. To start these off, I sketch them out lightly and then go back in and fill them in with NYX's SFX cream paint in red. I gotta say, I am not a huge fan of how this red paint went on. 
It's the first time I've used it, but the color came out super light and I had to do several layers to really increase the richness of that red. I've used other colors in NYX's SFX line and I've loved those, so I don't know. Didn't know about that red though. Um, <laughs> I'd instead recommend either a red eyeliner or a different brand of red cream paint or a red water activated paint or something if I were to do this makeup again. When I use cream paints, especially up around my eyes where they can crease, I like to set them with an eyeshadow of the same color. I pack on NYX's primal colors in hot red, which worked out great for that and really helped even out the red cream paint too. Now, I love a good bedazzle, as you guys know, <laughs> and when I checked my drawer of little jewels and glitter, I found this, blood drop bedazzles, just sitting there. <laughs> These were left over from my 2015 vampire tutorial, remember this? Well, they just so happen to be absolutely perfect for adding some bloody 3D flair to an otherwise very 2D look. So, I mean, we've already crossed the bedazzle bridge, so we might as well just run to full-on glitter. And my face right here tells you exactly how I feel about that. <laughs> I love lit glitter. This is their red glitter, which is called Firecracker, and it's beautiful and amazing, and I love it. And after I have all the blood tears looking all glam, I come back in and clean up the edges with concealer. I put the concealer on a small little brush, outline the blood drops, and then blend the concealer out away from the edges. I am basing my blood drops off of the flat art style of Gloomy Bear, like the blood patches here on this Kigu. So I'm keeping it one color all throughout for the blood. If you want to take a more realistic approach, add some highlights and shadows to the blood, and instead of glitter, maybe use something like NYX's Lid Lacquer to add a slick, wet look to your blood drops. For my lips, I am adding a soft baby pink that matches Gloomy Bear's fur, and then I'm adding red to the corners of my mouth. I'm going for like, not so much of an ombre lip, but more like, just finished eating a human and whoops, I got some blood on my mouth. <laughs> you know, that kind of look. To tie in the white color of Gloomy Bear's muzzle, I am adding white freckles across my cheeks and nose. I love this kind of obviously fake colored freckles, and you'll see them a lot in my videos. I just think they're so adorable. <laughs> now I'll just toss some hair on to match. That's better. This cute little pink bob is from Rockstar Wigs and is coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And then either deco your hair with some bloody accessories, or just toss your Kigu hood up and you're all set for a day as the perfectly anti-cute and alarmingly violent. Gloomy Bear. You can really go so many different directions with a character like Gloomy Bear, like this kawaii glitter version I have done today, or you could go to the total opposite side of the spectrum and do a super gory SFX version, which I would love to see too. So if you do that, tag me, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Um, of course, I love you guys super, super, super much, and I will never attack you. I am not a bear. Pity, run for your <laughs> life. <laughs> Okay, okay. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!